This is the TP-Link TAPO Smart Temperature and Humidity Sensor. Now before I forget, take note that this sensor requires the TAPO hub to work. It does not connect to our Wi-Fi router directly. Pause the video if you want to see the specs and what comes in the box. It's a really good sensor and I've used it for about two weeks now to automate the fan in my garage, which I'll show you a little later. This is what comes in the box. In this bag, we have these two magnets to stick the temperature sensor on a fridge or maybe a whiteboard. The magnet is not very strong but should be good enough to hold the temperature sensor as it's very small and light. There is also this double-sided tape if we just simply want to stick it somewhere. And then a lanyard for us to hang the sensor and finally, the, the cover ejector pin. Let's take a closer look at the sensor itself. It's a tiny sensor. There is this pin hole where we can press in the latch of the case to open it. Let me pull out the battery tag in order to activate this sensor. Oh, by the way, take note that this button cell battery is not the typical CR2032 size. It's the CR2450 size. It's thicker and should last longer. And removing the battery is pretty easy because of this groove. I can just stick my fingernails in to pull out the battery. It's a very well built and good design as you can see. And this pinhole is the reset button. Remember I mentioned that this temperature sensor requires the TAPO hub? I happen to have the TAPO H200 Smart IoT hub that comes with my TAPO doorbell. So now I can easily connect more devices to the same hub. So this is my doorbell and this is the TAPO H200 hub. We connect the new temperature sensor via the hub. All we need to do is click on connected devices and then the plus sign on the top right. Select set up a new device and pick the TAPO T310 temperature sensor. Now make sure that sensor LED light is blinking we can use the pin tool to press the reset button to get the device to wake up. Now the LED is blinking, so we can confirm to continue. Wait for a while and there we go, it's connected. So this is the reason why I bought this TAPO temperature sensor. It's because I recently installed a home battery solar system. I simply left the TAPO temperature sensor on top of the home battery to measure the ambient temperature. And see this Vornado fan? It's connected to my TAPO P110 Wi-Fi smart switch. So I can program when the temperature sensor detects ambient temperature is above a certain temperature, ask the TAPO smart switch to start my Vornado fan. So far, it's working pretty well for about a week now, and the Vornado fan have managed to keep the ambient temperature below 40 degrees. So between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., as the temperature rises, the fan will start, and when it cools down to a certain temperature, the fan will stop, which is why you are seeing all this up and down jagged temperature. I hope you find this video useful, and please like the video so it can spread to more people to benefit. If you enjoy watching really useful things like this one, make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video.